Donald Trump has also said that trade wars are good. He calls himself tariff man. People are really worried that Trump trade wars and tariff will damage our economy, damage businesses and hit the cost of living here in the UK. So given this, does the Prime Minister recognise that it's more urgent than ever that we support our British economy by get a, getting rid of the damaging trade barriers with Europe put in place by the Conservatives? Yeah. Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, as you will know, we put the economy um, centrepiece uh, to our budget um, and we will do everything that we need to do to ensure our economy grows and that's measured in living standards going up for working people across the country. Well, hold on a minute. Whilst the government has been repeatedly saying this since the budget... Well, over the longer term, as I say, Kay, the OBR say that uh, economic growth will be boosted by 1.4%. That's really positive. The small print of the OBR report, which the government is quoting from, also says this. A 0.14% of GDP boost to potential output in 2029-30, which grows to 1.4% of GDP by 2073-74. By then, many of us will be dead. And even worse, the report lays bare the catastrophic cost of Brexit on UK trade. Weak growth in imports and exports over the medium term partly reflect the continuing impact of Brexit, which we expect to reduce the overall trade intensity of the UK economy by 15% in the long term. That's not going to go away just because the Prime Minister chooses to ignore it. And even worse, the OBR has said that Brexit will reduce the UK's potential GDP by 4% in the long run by lowering the trade intensity of the economy, which puts this from the government into context. Well, over the longer term, as I say, Kay, the OBR say that uh, economic growth will be boosted by 1.4%. As Liberal Democrat leader Sir Ed Davey warns, Donald Trump has also said that trade wars are good. The OBR the government is relying on says the largest factor by far stopping UK economic growth is Brexit. So is it any wonder the growth the government is now talking about is 50 years off? Surely now is the time for the government to come clean with the public and have an honest and open discussion about the catastrophic and negative impact of Brexit on the UK economy and how we can fix that.